One, two. You don't a need one, to count One, two, three, four. Welcome to Staying Relevant, the podcast hosted by two best of pals. We're actually as besties we've ever been before, really. Um, souls are very connected at the What's moment. What the f*** does that mean? Pete Wicks and Sam Thompson on our quest to stay relevant in this tough little industry of ours. We're not getting any younger. This is Staying Relevant. I hated that introduction. I love it. You finished the last episode really well and started this one terribly. I will be swearing if you don't like it, and I am not drinking today because I had enough last night. <laughs> Pete's back on the sauce, baby. No, I'm not back on the sauce. I am just casually having a drink. While he stares at me, not blinking, going, don't ruin this for me. It's actually quite painful to blink really bloodshot sore eyes today. Really? Yeah. I used some of Pete's eye drops yesterday when we saw each other. And I'm like, oh, can I use them? Because they make his eyes look really blue and really bright. They stink. Can I just point out, my eyes are blue. They don't turn them blue. <laughs> the eye drops are blue. But it, it, it basically just stops you being bloodshot because, and it, I, I used to have them quite a lot. Anyway, <laughs> right, let's move on from that. Uh, I believe you've got a message to read out, don't you, Pete? I do, actually. Follow Good. Nice memory. Very on form today. Um, following on from last week, where we spoke about hair transplants quite a bit and you being asked to do a documentary, we've had a very interesting review. It's one of my favourites, actually, Sam. <clears throat> and it's someone that obviously follows a lot of what you do, so they don't just listen to the podcast because they also watch you on, on your other endeavours, <clears throat> like uh, the Love Island thing. So... The title of the review is Sam's Hairline. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> to make you feel slightly better, there is five stars. Come on! <clears throat> Sam's Hairline is five stars. But I don't think that's for the hairline. <laughs> so, the review goes, and this is from James. I like James. Love the podcast and think Sam is so funny. Come on! But his hairline on the Love Island reunion was a joke. <laughs> Expecting a documentary to be released soon on trying to fix that. Pete, on the other hand, is a British legend. Is that how it finishes? Yes. God, Genuinely, it actually that. finishes like that. Do Pete, you know on the other hand, is a British legend. Do you know what I love about that? But your hairline is a fucking joke. What I love about that message in general is that we had literally just finished last week's episode. And at the very end, we were talking about the fact that I'd been approached to a documentary for hair transplants. And this motherfucker had written it before this even came out. Yeah. He, he didn't even listen to it. He literally thought to himself, this guy should do a documentary about hair transplants. It's that bad. It's really got to. It's really got yeah. to me. Yeah, I, I I did notice you you got you went very quiet yesterday afternoon after our uh, sort of. Um, Do you know what it is? Pas, I I pas, know. Pas hair lunch. But I know what he was um, referring to as well. Was uh, it was? Well, the, we all know it's the fucking sunroof. You well, got no, mate. I know, but it was Love Island the reunion, and basically I was sat. I remember watching it myself. I was sat on this seat. I was at the back of camera, back of shot. I wasn't even on like the one talking, and I bent over my head like that, and the lights glared off my scalp, and like shot. Back Back into the camera. It was like it's like when you like when you reflect sunlight. It I, was so bad. I always think that whenever you because whenever you do like studio stuff and you've got fucking lights, you get really hot and quite sweaty. And the problem that I have then is it it, it really highlights my forehead. Got and it becomes like a light it becomes like a a, a lighthouse. <laughs> because every time the cameras fucking just move around, you basically get a glare off my forehead and my receding hairline like you do in the glasses. <laughs> and that's why I wear the glasses, because then people look at that glare and not that glare. We need anti-glare for the forehead, Pete. You know what, actually, I've got something that I've, I, I haven't told you yet, but you want to love this. So when I was in uh, Mallorca for the, um, this is a few weeks ago now, for the uh, last After Sun, um, I, I, <laughs> I had to cream up my head. <laughs> No, what a little bit. I had to cream up my ball patch. I've never had it before. My dad used to do it. He used to have to fucking for put con 50 for on context. Their head. For context, Sam's dad is completely bald now. <laughs> well, no, no, he's not. He's got no. He's got the monk. He's oh, got the he got the, he's oh, he's got the, the side. His front's okay and his side's okay. He's just got the patch. Oh, he's got the tuck. The he's got the fried tuck. tuck. Yeah. And, but he has to put 50. And I literally did a text to my dad going, fuck. I was like, I've hit that stage. Yeah, can I have some more money for a hair transplant? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's funny you say that because I also noticed something the other day as well when I was... So when you go do some of these filming, you know when you, you, you go get the, the they do your, your makeup bits and someone comes around, if you're sitting there doing something and they just touch you up. Someone lifted up my hair and touched. <laughs> she literally went. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking to someone and it was happening and I went, 
are you joking? And she went, we're just going to make sure it's all over. I thought, fucking hell. Uh, but yeah, so that, <coughs> that was that smoke skull. So uh, that was uh, a really lovely message. We did get five stars on that review, to be fair. So um, I, I think that's because uh, you do a podcast with a British legend. But I, have, I have told you this. You're a fucking icon. You're a sex icon. Right, anyway, um, enough hair chat. I feel like we've managed to blag an entire podcast that I'm talking about hair transplants and my jammer. I know. <laughs> That's all we have to cover. This week's Staying Relevant, I think, is a joint one. It is. It's a double trouble. It's a doozy. Oh. It's a doozy. I think that's the word. It's a doozy. It's a double. Double. It's both of our Staying Relevant stories. Oh, you're a fucking parrot. That's what yeah. I just said. Yeah. We made a video. Yes. Well, people have seen the video now. Yeah. Um, and... I don't know how you want to start this, but basically, I I was at Sam's um, and we had to. Sam wanted to do this listener's choice fucking thing because he really thinks we're going to win and we we're going to get all these fucking votes and all that. And we have done really well. We've got six or seven now. <laughs> but um, so he wanted to do this video. But anyway, I, we had to do other work during the fucking day, and then we 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 put this like two three hours to do this fucking video in the afternoon. Sam says to me, "I'm just quickly popping downstairs um, into his basement, which is transferred into the cinema room slash bar, uh, where he keeps the cigars and you know all that sort of stuff. Uh, you know, humidor's being built at the minute. Oh my god." Um, uh, it was going to be a plunge pool, but we decided to bar would get more, <laughs> <laughs> would get more use. Um, so anyway, so Sam, Sam's in there doing a voiceover for, for one of his videos with Ted, who is our um, mate and videographer guy, tech guy. Well, I don't know what you yeah. call him. Just, it does everything, basically. Um, so he said, I'll be up in a minute. I sat upstairs outside in his garden for 45 minutes. Sam then calls me and said, we need your help. I go downstairs and he said, we've just been talking about um, how we're going to do this video. And I said, right, okay. Well, I thought we'd already discussed how we do it. Him and Ted have been sat there for 45 minutes and have wrote, wrote, wrote one line. <laughs> I've still got it on my phone. One line of this entire video. Then how long did it take us? Five minutes after that? Yeah. What the fuck were you both doing for 45 minutes? It's a really simple video. You've all fucking seen it. It's not that It's not difficult. fucking simple. Oh, it's an appeal. It's an appeal for your vote for the podcast awards. And uh, we couldn't agree on how to start it. So the only line we had written in 45 minutes is, this is an urgent appeal from the Staying Relevant team. That's literally all they had in 45 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> it was a slow day. And then Pete came downstairs and actually helped for once, which was really cool. Helped? I wrote the whole fucking thing. Pete wrote the whole thing. And then, because that, and then that was my job done. Then Sam had to obviously recite everything whilst I just sat on a street. So if you've watched the video of us appealing for your votes for the uh, Listener's Choice Podcast Awards, um, we thought it would be apt that Pete had turned to the booze because we needed your vote. And so we thought we'll put Pete with a cardboard cutout on the streets of Fulham, being I used to be on Towie, written on the cardboard cutout okay. in a pair of Crocs. So, so Sam's made a really good point there. When we decided to do this, because we thought it would be just sort of, a, you know, quite funny, uh, like parody type thing. What was quite funny is we had Pete on the street in, uh, in trackies and Crocs and a cardboard cutout. Right, can I also, can I just point out another thing, sorry about this. So... Sam brings me, and I said, you got like a tracksuit I can wear? Sam brings me in a tracksuit. And I said, just bring like a like an old tracksuit that you've got. I knew what he was going to do, because Sam does it every time. You can't just ask him. He won't just bring a tracksuit down. What he will do is bring one of Zara's down. <laughs> <laughs> and then I put it on, and he goes, oh, God, you're looking a bit tubby there or something. <laughs> it's Zara's. That's why, Sam, because it's not a man's fucking tracksuit, is it? <laughs> It was. You just fucking put on a bit of timber. It's not a fucking geezer's tracks. Sam, it, I would I, a borrower would struggle to get in there. It was so tight on him, he couldn't do it up. I couldn't do it up. So Sam gives me his fucking Zara's tracksuit. And I still don't know why he did it. But Sam then came downstairs in them fucking awful Mickey Mouse boots. They're not fucking awful. And I have, I have no idea why... It wasn't talked about. He literally put on a fucking nice shirt, then washed out dirty old stained chinos that he's had for years, and then then boots. And I still don't get why. I, I just I still don't get it because Pete doesn't understand fashion. Like they're avant garde. They're quite out there. Granted, they cost five hundred quid. Sam spent five hundred pounds to make himself look like a toilet plunger. <laughs> 
And I'm not joking you, they squelched like that as well. <laughs> they did squelch. They were a little bit too big, but you can't give them back the non-refundable. Do you know what it is? It's for all them... That, that, that is a prime example of someone trying to dress to stay relevant. Why? Because... No, You're... we were outside. Actually, fuck you. We were outside and we had kids on bikes riding past going, bro, love your shoes, man. I was like, thanks, bro. Yeah. You should have gone, thanks, man. I'm 31, bro. <laughs> whilst, whilst talking to all the kids on their bikes in your, in your fancy little shoes. Do you know what we're going to do? We're going to put a photo up on Instagram showing what I look like in these shoes because they are quite out there, but they're fucking cool. And man, the problem that I have with that is that I can't even... It was hard for me to say anything because I was wearing Zara's tracksuit and Crocs. So when you put the photo up, if it's of me and Sam, people are going to go, well, what the fuck the Pete look like? Yeah. And they're not even going to worry about your fucking shoes, are they? But the thing is, they are, they're quite cool. I've always been in smart. Like they're not cool. You said they were specific. Yesterday, you specifically said to me, God, they're really uncomfortable. <laughs> As you were just a blub, blub, blub. Pete called me. A, a, I walked downstairs and went, you look a those are the first words he said. And then he went, they came out a year ago as well, which means he, he actually knows what they are. He goes, they came out a year ago, and not only, you just look like a slow <laughs> but, So aggressive. But you, they came out a year ago, and it was just them, like, knobhead fucking rappers and fucking all them, like, people that, you know, do you like my grill and my fucking Mickey Mouse boots? Fuck off, dickhead. Why are you doing it? You're from fucking Chelsea. I got a little bit of heat to me, mate. I got a bit of spice. I'm in the kitchen. Cooking. No, you're not. <laughs> you're in the toilet plunging. <laughs> They're honestly... and uh, but you're, uh, I, What I don't get is it whether or not you got them specifically to do that video... No, they are actually for fashion. But you're not going to wear them. I am going to wear them. Uh, this is, I still don't understand it. I'm two days in and I'm still confused by it. You're not actually ever going to wear them. I should have worn them today. Did you come on your scooter? Yeah. If I saw you, if I saw you, you've got red seat on the scooter as well. But I, st I, I genuinely don't. They must be for a joke. Stuff. No, Pete. They are cool. Were they or were they not? Actual How much kids? money do you have were to be able to spend £500 on plungers? Were there or were there not kids who stopped on their bikes and went, those are cool shoes, bro? There was one kid. No, two. No, there was one kid, and then there was a, a man with his fucking girlfriend who went, nice boots, bro. But he didn't say it because he liked your boots. It's because he went, where do I know you from? <laughs> and he just wanted to talk to you. <laughs> and the one kid on his scooter who was about nine probably really likes them because he still watched cartoons where everyone's wearing them. <laughs> You are a 31-year-old man. Actually, what I did quite like as well is when Pete was uh, on the floor, on the street, um, with his cardboard cutout, uh, there were people driving past and they would stop, <laughs> feeling sorry for him. They would slow down and, like, really eye him up. <laughs> the cardboard said, I used to be on Towie. Really tickled me. So that's what we've done for our staying relevant moment. We have created. This is how desperate we are. We have created. No, no, yeah, no. We have created no, a video. No, 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 no. Yeah. No. Yes, because we're putting this no. out as a double post. No. Both of our posts. Okay. On Instagram. Let's get this right. It's a collab. Let's get this right. Who are we praying to? <laughs> it's a collab we've done together. Um, Sam's desperation to do this video and my tolerance. Um, of Sam and and just wanting an easy life, I think is probably what my reason for doing this. Because I, d the worst part about this is if if we don't win now, I know, I know, I thought about this as well. The <laughs> embarrassing part of this is that we have begged for weeks for people to vote. We've done a whole appeal, <laughs> right? We're the only people to do a video. <laughs> no one else cares. It's a completely open fucking. But it could, it, it, any, it could, we don't even know the competition, it could come from anywhere. But I can guarantee you, and so that's every podcast there could be, could get, could, could get, um, uh, could win this. We're the only ones <laughs> that have done an appeal video. If we don't win. So when so they go and uh, thank you for coming to the Podcast Awards. And first up is the Listener's Choice, which has been won by Peter Crouch and Abby can't see. <laughs> I will be straight on Instagram deleting that video <laughs> as soon because the embarrassment. I might have to have a month off or so just because 
just to let people forget. <laughs> Mate, no one will forget. If we also, do you know, so again. But imagine we win and they play the video <laughs> in front of everyone. And there's me on the fucking street begging for votes. <laughs> Everyone sitting there going, oh, well, to be fair, they did do an appeal video. Well, no, because then it, what, what, the problem is now, people aren't going to go, well, that's a, um, uh, that's a good podcast. They're going to go, they did a whole appeal for that. <laughs> We're not going for the Listener's Choice for that reason. We're going to the Listener's Choice because we haven't been nominated for anything that's else. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> so basically, all the other categories are picked by the podcast awards, right? The only chance we have to involve ourselves yeah, is, is if you. you do it for yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've been shut out of the building. And uh, we, we're basically not allowed in to the podcast awards. So you've got all of, you've got best comedy, best factual podcast, best this, best that. So all your, your Peter Crouch and Abby Clancy's, your Jamie and Sophie, Neely Weds, and your Spencer and Vogue's, they're all in there, like, they're all in there professionally I- speaking. The only way we can get in is if you guys can just like break the door and push us in there. We're not even invited. No, we're not even invited. We've never been. We're not invited. I didn't know what it was, to be honest with you. But um, but now Sam's got it in his head that we need 200,000 people to fucking vote for us. We, I, I don't think 200,000 people have listened to this from the beginning. Come on. Come on. We want to break the system. And the worst part of this is, actually, when we did this video yesterday, we did it outside Sam's mum's house, which is just round the corner to his house. She came out and she, she went... saw it. And she went... What are you doing? What are, the, what, what are they on your feet, Sam? And I went, they were 500 quid. And she went, Sam. <laughs> and, then, and then she looked at the placard and she went, oh, is this for the listener's choice? I voted. Yeah, she did. And I went, what? Karen so, Thompson. So basically Karen Thompson and my mum, Tracy, are the only two people that fucking voted. And Leanne. Don't oh, and Leanne. Leanne. Come on, Leanne. If we don't win, it's going to be really tough to come into work the next day. It's anyway. going to be really hard. <laughs> Right, crack on. Moving on. Um, I don't even know we got onto that. What was that? I was staying relevant before I went to me. I was staying relevant. Um, oh, big news. Okay, I'm ready. Big, big news. Um, probably the biggest news that we've ever put out on this podcast. It doesn't involve myself or Pete. Standard. Uh, to be perfectly honest, I don't think we've ever been part of big news. Yeah, we haven't. We haven't. So, but we can. But we definitely can hold on to the coattails of this news. My girlfriend, Zara McDermott, is doing Strictly Come Dancing. Um, I love the fact that you've just announced it like we've got an exclusive and it's been out for a week. (laughs) But um, (laughs) you literally did that like it was an exclusive. We've got big news. We've got big news. We're hanging on the coat sales and I can reveal here today, Zara McDermott, we know. (laughs) Um, Very good though for Zara. Very good. But that she is now relevant. Um... I think she's been relevant now for quite a while. Yeah, but she's hit, she's hit new heights. If we're pond scum, she is like the dragonfly that flies above it, hovers. Zara told me she wanted to do Strictly about two years ago. And that's the one show that she really wanted to do. And I said, oh, you're fucking start getting... Then she started doing the stuff for BBC and I thought she's guaranteed to do it. Um, I love that she... Pete's now like, I always knew. I always knew. Never once heard him say that, by the way. I always knew. No, 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 I didn't know. But I thought once she's doing all the stuff with the BBC, she's going to be lined up to do it, isn't she? You know I what I mean? I didn't think she would. I didn't think they'd let ex lover unders on. She's so much more than that now. How do you feel about it? I can't fucking wait. I've got a question, though. How do I phrase it? How busy is the schedule of what they do? Mate, they train every day. Right, and she's been away for pretty much all of summer. Mm. When are you going to see each other? Well, luckily, she that's actually the good thing, is that she's literally going to rehearsals coming home. So, like, I'm going to see... Where are rehearsals? Don't they? Don't no, they? just down the road. Oh, I thought yeah, they so dance up north this on the, the beach This is the beauty of Strictly. You can actually rehearse wherever is, is like, good for you. Oh, so you'll actually have, you'll see more of her. I'm going to see more of her, which will is you, actually quite nice. Will you be going to rehearsals? I'd go, I'd bring her cupcakes or flowers. I don't, I don't want to look like I'm that boyfriend who turns up to practice going, hey, honey, just bought you some cupcakes. Like... <laughs> How, are we all good on the home front? Do you know what I mean? Like, you don't want, like, I'll just, I don't want to be that guy. I want to let her do her thing. 
and and come home. Yeah, and and yeah, just let <laughs> her go do, let her go do her <laughs> thing, and then come home to find me rocking back and forth on the end of the bed crying. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But, but do you anyway. know what I mean? I don't want to be that guy who's like, who's because I've actually heard stories about like boyfriends who like turn up to these things and are like like watching in terms of like intently being like, oh, you're getting a bit clean. like no, do your thing, enjoy it, don't have me fucking standing next to you. I will be going to the live shows. I'm gonna be bringing placards and you're fucking coming. Yeah, Sam's already tried to book me in for the live shows, but the 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 best the the, the funny there's two good bits to this. So Sam says, yeah, we're going to the live shows. I, Zara FaceTimed me yesterday when I was at yours and you was on the fucking phone. Yeah. Oh no, you gave me the phone, and she was going, oh um, she went, oh by the way, could you try and get tickets for Strictly for you and Sam? <laughs> and I went, what? And she will only get two, and it's really for mum and dad. <laughs> so he hasn't even got a fucking... So I've got to get tickets for, for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pete's basically <laughs> become the ticket out because we know someone who works at the BBC. So, 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 I'm, so we're going to try and get in through the back door. Because worse, because this is what's going to be really bad. Sam won't even be there support because he can't get in there either. Can't get in. I've already written placards. I'm ready to go. She's, she's, dan- she's one of the dancers. <laughs> um... Oh, that'd be awful. <laughs> but we are going. In, in in all seriousness, me and Pete are going to the, the first actual show. Listen, I couldn't think of anything worse. I don't watch the fucking show. Oh, and, right, and, sweet. <laughs> but, but, but listen, it's a big thing for Zara and I... You're so part I, of the family. Come on. I, yeah, I, I, I obviously will go. And we, we're both bringing placards that's going to be like, go Zara, team Zara. Anyway, uh, so no, that's big news. That's good. She's very happy about it, isn't she? She is over the moon. She's a bit nervous. So, um, yeah, she, she she's going to... Uh, She's going to put her everything into it. She's not the best dancer in the world, but I think... That's where I was going with that. Yeah. How'd you rate her chances? And you just slagged her off before I... <laughs> no, 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 but I She's not... not the best dancer. No, but I'm not slagging her off, because at the end of the day, Did I Did she think... let you down on TikTok? No, <laughs> I think... Is that the problem? No, she's a better dancer than I am, but I think that it... And this is just with my little producer head screwed on. I think that a journey is so much... And I'm obviously biased to Zara, but I think a journey is so much more like fun to watch like, i want to watch someone who's a bit shit at dancing got two left feet and then like as they grow and evolve they become like an unbelievable dancer mm. by the end you're like what that's to me that's what strictly is yeah and i i, I, I agree the journey's good and it's also the next question was going to be um at what level do you see zara starting at and, and you answered it there with someone who's just a bit shit <laughs> no um, i like that going on a journey so not high hopes for her then. No, big high hopes because I think big she, high hopes. No, because I think she's a, she's going to learn. She's going to throw everything into it. And when Zara puts her mind to something, she's really, really talented at most things she's ever tried. Look at the documentaries, mate. She literally wanted to do that. And she flew with it. Yeah, I think she's going to. She wanted do a trust really fund. Well. She got it. I think she wanted Sam. She got him. But like, I genuinely think she's going to do really, really well. I just, I'm really glad actually that she that like we get to watch someone who's never done anything like that before. I mean, as I said, I'm biased, but I think that's the point of Strictly Come Dancing for me. Um, really nicely put. Uh, really, like, I did switch off halfway between. Oh. But um, I'm sure what you said was great. Yeah. Um, but I do actually agree with that, yeah. It is a bit unfair when you do these dances and you like you put on people like, who you know, I went to theatre school for 15 years and trained in ballet. Okay, fine. Will you be... I presume that your social media is going to be flooded with funny, hilarious videos of you and Zara doing the rumba and shit. Then. Well, I, I've Her already... Practicing. You've I've, already been looking at them. I've already you? asked. Yeah. Um, I have because Zara's expertise is, you know, professional TV personality um, doing all the cool shit. My expertise are TikToks. And so I was like, well, what can I gain from this? And I thought we... And I say we because I'm going to rope Pete into these as well, is that we're going to try and do, I think, some TikToks. We'll do some salsas, some three-way dance, Dancing and uh, and it will be really fun. We'll maybe get her partner involved as well. We'll have a four way and it will be like really not in that way, but we'll like have a like we'll do some fun TikToks together. The opportunities are endless. The only thing is, I did say, don't embarrass me, and she said, don't get me kicked off. She went, don't get me kicked off. Don't embarrass me. Don't, don't bring Pete. Well, I think you should just not talk about it or do anything then, because there's a fair chance that you will fuck something up. Um, all oh, right. no, do you know what? Anything I, else you want to add to Zara Strictly? Yeah, did one thing, yeah. actually. It was really lovely. And this is, you know, sometimes there's nice touch on the lovely stuff. Is Pete actually did a really nice uh, Insta story. Pete did a lovely little message to her, being like, so proud of Zara. Because Pete, you are, for the listener, he f- pretends he hates us. Genuinely, he's no, part no, no, of no, our no. family. Don't no, fight, no, 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 I'm going to carry on this. No, no, I don't pretend I hate you both. <laughs> 
I've openly said, I, I genuinely, me and Zara, I, I think she's great. I really, really like Zara now. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, at the beginning, not so great. Now, really, really like Zara. Um, it's you that I find uh, painful. But, but as a couple, I love you. Yeah, Pete is basically like our sort of uncle. He's like our uncle. Oh, I've got a spot on my scalp where the, where, it, where the fryer tuck's happening. That's not good. Um, anyway, yeah, Pete wrote a really, really lovely message. So I just want to say in front of all the listeners, Pete, thank you so much for that message. That meant a lot to her. Um, that's fine. Sam asked me to do it. No, um, I didn't. Uh, is that the, the, the you set me I up did, for I that? Did. I asked him. Sam messaged me saying, can you put something up for her? <laughs> uh, and you I, did, and it was lovely. And uh, I went, yeah. And I couldn't actually find any pictures of just me and Zara because I don't know why we would have pictures together. So I just put up a picture of me, Sam and Zara, but cut Sam out. <laughs> And then got loads of love for it. <laughs> yeah, and everyone went, I love that. You cut him out, wanker. And then actually I, at the same time, would put up a photo of me and Pete saying, get to see the big guy tomorrow. Yeah. Um, um, and, it, what, and what he'd done with that it was the usual where he had increased my forehead a lot. It looked like a fridge. It was so fucking good. I had thousands of messages. So I put up a photo of me and Pete and I'd just done a little edit on the forehead. Just enough. A little edit? It was just enough for people to not actually know whether it was well, true or not. Well, the worst part of it was is that I saw it and I didn't notice. Yeah, exactly. You just... The beauty of it is is you want Pete to look at it and go, God, do I... Do I look a bit shit? And not actually be like, oh, he's edited it. And it was part, I had so many messages being like, have you edited his forehead? Or is that actually his firehead? But what, what, we're, what we're actually doing now is, is it's got to the point now. We, we, <laughs> no, no, because we, we did all this fucking, oh, it's funny, edit the pictures fucking ages ago. I cannot post anything now, right, which is I, what I think is a nice photo of me without someone going, oh, he's done it again. <laughs> No, he hasn't. That's that is just me. <laughs> He's done. Oh What's he God. done to your nose this time? Nope, that's just my nose. <laughs> oh, the fucking airline. Look at him. Nope, that's just my. The hairline. banter. I love you too. The banter. Oh. On on Sam's birthday, I put up a picture of me and Sam, and someone went, "See, you do love him." Using one of his edited pictures. <laughs> it was just. I thought it was a nice photo of me. I made Pete look like he had a club foot. <laughs> is it an edited photo? <laughs> no. It's not. It's like... You look at your leg. No, I don't know. It's not. It's not. Show me. No, it's not. My leg does look weird. <laughs> it's not. It's a different one. It's a different one. Oh, see, now I question. <laughs> that is just my fucking leg. <laughs> see, that's the beauty. I'm so in his head. I'm fucking your brain. I literally, I'm so in Pete's head that he's now looking at photos going, oh, my leg does look a bit fat there. Or oh, it does look a bit weird. It's just a normal photo. But now even Pete doesn't know. I, don't, I just don't know what's real anymore. Oh, it's absolutely brilliant. <laughs> it is really, do you know what? It's, it, it's, it is toxic. It's, that's exactly oh, what it is. Oh, come on, don't say that. But the worst thing is, is that to, even if I take a picture on my phone, which means that he can't edit it, I still worry. <laughs> Because I don't understand technology. I don't know if he's got a way of doing it. Because <laughs> <laughs> like, sometimes I think, oh, God, that, that looks worse than one that he's edited. That's, that's when I know it's bad. And that's when I... It, it gets to the point now when you have to... I've, I've got to that age now, like, where you... Unless I'm drunk. You know when you, you, you just go out and someone goes have a picture and just as both, you just go, yeah, and you have the picture done. Now go, can I have a look? <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, we'd have to do that again. And then, and then go, it's the lighting. It's not... And then Pete, I just moved my hair back over. It's, Pete, it's, it's Pete's nose that's got, I feel like, got bigger. There was actually, we did a video. It's uh, got bigger because you're making it bigger. We did video. We did a video. Do, I feel like it's got bigger. Yeah, that's what happens when you go, hmm? We did a video a couple of uh, a couple of days ago, and um, and Pete was put, banged his nose into my ass crack, and um, sorry, without any context, that sounds really weird, but he, and it collapsed on itself. Yeah, well, I broke my nose a little bit, so it's <laughs> it's it's squishy, um, which is. Uh, but I'm glad it's squishy because it obviously collapsed rather than penetrating your arsehole. It sounds weirder than it is. Wait for that video to come out. Actually, it's probably already come out, to be fair. It's a video where I tricked Pete into doing, <laughs> into doing some press-ups, but actually I just I pulled his head into my butt crack and then he gave me the biggest bruise on my side and my leg, which really, really hurt. Anyway, moving on. Zara's doing Strictly. Well done, Zara. I Lovely. love you, Goose. I love you so much, you tiny little goosington goose bear. You princess, fairy princess. Do you know what... Okay, boring. 
anyway, yeah, so Zara doing it strictly. Can't wait. We've for gone past Strictly. We're on frying pan. Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah, Zara got me frying pan. But did you want the frying pan? Well, the thing is, I love cooking a steak, so it was actually but really thoughtful. What I found Dude. weird about this is she bought frying pan, but I've never seen you cook. Well, it's because you never, you never want to come round for tea. 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 You never want to come round for dinner. Dinner. Uh, but she cooks for you. No, she doesn't. I cook a lot of my food. I watch you, the only time I've ever seen you cook, and I, yeah, to be fair, you do do this a lot. You do get two bits of bread and cut up raw mushroom, pepper, army and cheese and put it in it. Other fun. than that... You've seen that once. I've, once. Yeah. Once. You love a cheese twist from Pret. I do, I do absolutely love them. Yeah. Yeah, do on. you know what the best thing is, actually? So one of our listeners, I'd put up a story on Instagram, one of our listeners replied to my story going, oh my God, it's actually true, because there was a Pret bag in one of my stories, and me and you in the video, and the cheese twist there. And she went, fuck me, it literally is every day. I love a cheese twist. <laughs> he loves it. Very nice little coffee, but only when it's slightly warm. Um, look, let's, 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 let's move on. Let's yeah. move on to, uh, to the sidebar. Of shame. Are we on sidebar already? We are. We're on the sidebar. Sidebar of shame. It's the sidebar of shame. Yeehaw. P has brought something to my attention, and I just don't know how to feel about this one. Pete, take us away. So, um, of course, you saw this as well. Well, I, I, it's not that I saw it. So basically, I the new Slips Go Dating is coming out, and they have announced the lineup. Some very interesting people on there, some of which we know. Um, so they do like a digital thing every year. Apparently, on this show, I don't know. I've I don't know much about it, but apparently on Slips Go Dating, they do like little digital things every year, um, uh, where people like do these little trends or something. And there's a trend where people have to show. Like a like you do a flash of a phone or something. Yeah, you know what I mean. So you ask your question and you flash what the answer is and then flash it back and then ooh, what could it be? We just pause it and you see what it is. <laughs> Don't really understand why it's a fucking trend. But anyway, so they're doing that. So you know everyone's doing it. You know who's your fucking celeb crush and you know people showing what it is and then everyone's trying to guess in the comments and all that sort of stuff. So one of the people that is doing celebs go dating this year is um, Adam C Collard. Adam Collard. And he um, is on Celebs Go Dating this year. Very good looking man. Abs are fucking still. Used to date Zara before she saw uh, her, you know, came to her senses and um, found the money. So <laughs> it was like a treasure hunt. So, <laughs> so, so um, before she found the light and, and, um, and the trust fund, she was with Adam Collard. Was that the Love Island? Was that who she was with when she came out? Yeah, of Love yeah. Island? So Zara was with. Adam in Love Island, they came out and then, like most Love Islanders do, he broke up as they after they came out. So he's now. Did he do Love Island again? He did Love Island. So again. he did Love Island. So, but this is quite a big thing. He was the first ever Islander to go back in to Love Island. This was the last year, last year's one, which was a big Love Island thing. I was doing loads of Instagram stories that you muted me for, Pete, um, and I was watching Love Island, doing my little stories of accompanying it. And we there was this clip that went viral because I was like, "Oh my God, abs and pecs, abs and pecs," and it's fucking Adam Collard. And I'm like, Zara, no, oh my God, it's your ex boyfriend. <laughs> so I was like, "What?" So, have you ever met him? No, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. And do you slag him off much? No, actually, do you know what? I was so I'm going to slag him off now. I I was so excited for him to go on to Love Island because he he went. I used to really like him when he was on Love Island. I was like, he was just an absolute tyrant. He used to go on there and just like fuck around, and we used to call him Thanos. He just click his fingers and just ruin people's relationships. He was brilliant. But he then went on last year, and this is I'm happy to say this as well as a fan of Love Island. Bitterly, you know when someone's like being out of the limelight for a while and like he probably needs to do like a couple more PAs or he's got like you know he needs to make a bit more money so he's gone back in he was so fucking boring and he try you know when someone tries to change their persona and it's like no 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 you're forgetting all this mate you're going in for our entertainment entertain us you're not going in to change personas you're going in to entertain he just didn't entertain at all he's disappointed okay so that's both people in the Thompson household that have been disappointed with him. 
um, for two right. for two slightly different reasons. Um, however, so he's now doing celebs go dating, um, and he's doing the little flicky thing. Who's your celeb crush? And people are commenting in there. Oh, looks like um, uh, what's her name, Megan Fox, and all this sort of crap. Uh, you know what? Do you know? Do you, I don't know. Whatever the fucking questions. The last question is: Which celebrity do you hate the most? Who's your least favorite celebrity? Who's your least favorite celebrity? Yeah, so who, who you know, if they were on fire, you wouldn't piss on them. Who do you, who do you really not like? <laughs> if you're on fire, you wouldn't piss on him. I've never heard that before. Who do you really not, who do you fucking hate? Could be anyone. I mean, I don't know, you know, if someone asked you that question, who would you, who would you go for? I don't know. Because it was... Well, let me tell you who Adam Collard went for. Quick flash, it was just a... Pete so quick, he did it real quick. the video... <laughs> Did it real quick. But I thought, I recognise that. <laughs> <laughs> Watched it about 20 times because I couldn't get the pause right. It was really, really fucking difficult to get it in there. But I did manage to get the pause. And the person that he least likes is Sam Thompson. Absolute fucking travesty. That. What is the exclusive big story? Why does Adam, Adam Collard hate you? Fucking Is it because Zara upgraded? Absolutely livid. When Pete messaged me, I went, no, you're wrong. I was like, we haven't even met. Uh, mate, I, I paused it as well. <laughs> it is my face. And there's also people underneath going, fucking hell, that sounds awesome. <laughs> and I don't know why. Well, he's immediately gone up in my estimation. <laughs> I knew you could fucking say that. Um, why? What? Uh, let's get him on the pod. No, we can't get him on the pod. No. Do you, know what, do you know what the problem is? I finally got Come a nemesis, on. right? I'm finally someone else's nemesis, and it's fucking Adam Collard. I want, like, Roman Kemp, fucking someone, Adam Collard <laughs> is mine. I don't know. Sorry. I, yeah, but nemesis for different reason, because your nemesis are career-based, and I don't think you're, he's in, you know, career-wise, you're on two different paths. I would like to be someone's nemesis who I'm like, oh, that's pretty fucking cool. Do you want to be not my nemesis? Who is your nemesis? No, do you want to be? Yeah? Well, no, because I'm not your nemesis. I know. Well, no, you're not. But you so, so like someone, Roman, not, Roman's. I feel mine. like you need a little boost. Because... Roman's not mine. I think Jordan North and Roman as well. They duke it out. I'm not going down like all that route. <laughs> I'm getting fucking pulled back by fucking Adam Collard. Well, is there anything you'd like to say to Adam? <laughs> Like, you know, this is your moment now to... Because, listen, when, when these things happen, mate, and you know how it works in this in this kind of world, if you were on a reality show and, and, and he'd said this, what do you always you'd ha have? You'd, you'd have, have to a go, right to reply. You'd have to have a right to reply. You'd have to go and have a bump in, wouldn't so you? So you'd have to do a bump in. You'd so have let's to do just a bump imagine, in. let's just imagine you and, and Collard are walking down the streets, he's ducking the trees, and, and <laughs> because he's 15 feet tall... And 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 you are just you're just trying to hop up on the curb, <laughs> right? And then you, and then you you're, you're walking some all each other, right? I and you've heard him say to someone else, "Listen, you know who I really don't like my least favourite person is Sam Thompson." What is your opening line to um, the big, huge Geordie can I tell man you mountain? Can I can I tell you what you've really set the scene well there? Can I tell you? Thank you. Was it the bit where you were trying to hop on the curb? Because I have seen you do that. Can I tell you what 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 I the reason I think that that he's put me is I think it's one of those things I don't think he actually dislikes me. I <laughs> look at that me. I don't think he dislikes me. Oh, I, th awesome. I think he likes me quite a lot actually. But I think it's one of those things where he strikes me as the kind of guy who knows reality TV is like his bread and butter right that's like he knows how to be a little bit like oh what's like what's he doing over there he's, he's probably gone do you know what this will generate some sort of like chatter he's probably like i'm on says good day and this is my last roll of the dice <laughs> like this is it again me. again and he's like i've got to do something he's like do you know what this will do like it's just a bit of banter i don't think he actually really means it if he did i would ask him as to why but i don't think he does i think he's just doing it because he's like do you know what we'll create a little bit of chatter here We'll do a little bit. And then, lo and behold, we're talking about it on the podcast. Yeah. Right? That's what I mean, though. I, mean, I, th yeah. I don't I think, think he hates me. I don't think he hates me. I think he's just literally gone, do you know what? I need to, like, create some sort of, you know, something headline or whatever. I'm going to say Sam Thompson because it gets a little bit of... Which I quite like because I feel like he's punching up, you know? 
well, I, metaphorically speaking, hundred percent, yeah, hundred percent. That's metaphorical. <laughs> he's punching um, that. But listen, I like, like it. I like your style, mate. But you've all actually, going for the big dogs. You've actually, well, not really. He's going for sort of the the sort of slightly limp Labrador. <laughs> um, but. Um, <laughs> Either way, there's neither of us have actually really ever met him. Have you not think. met? I, well, you must have on the on the event circuit, surely. Not really, because he stopped getting invited to things pretty quick. So <laughs> no, but listen, I'm making little digs just because he's slagging off my mate. Adam, I would like to also say you're seven foot tall, you think, built like a brick. Do you think we now. could take him together? No, absolutely not. <laughs> if you hold him, I'll kick him. <laughs> yeah, 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 Adam. We don't want any smoke. Genuinely, you're stacked. Anyway, this has been Staying Relevant. What a lovely episode this has been. I've really enjoyed it. We've had some doozies. We've had uh, Zara Stop doing saying stream. words no, I really you don't like, understand. <laughs> doozy's my word of the day at the moment. I love a doozy. This has been Staying Relevant. Sam Thompson, his best ever mate, Peter James Wicks. We are flying, by the way, on the podcast chart. So please do keep listening. And refer us to a friend. Referrals? Yeah, refer us. We're not offering double glazing. Yeah. What do you mean, mean refer us? Yeah, but if you've got a mate who you think think might quite like the show, just to to be like, oh, you should listen to that. What a stupid way of just tell your mates about us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Refer us. Refer us. Refer us and we'll give you a discount on your next listen. Do you know what I've actually got before we finish? Um, we are potentially going to do a bonus episode oh, weekly yeah. now. Mm. And the bonus episode is going to be all about interaction with you, the listener. <laughs> that was really creepy. I creeped myself out a little bit. Sam switched off. But um, so what we want you to do is write as many reviews, send us emails, send us things you think that we want to know about, send us things you want us to talk about so you can do it on, wh- where are we? Uh, Instagram, on on TikTok at Staying Relevant, um, or just writing comments under the Instagram, or email us, or review, whatever the fuck. Talk to us, and we'll talk back. Because I think it'll be funny, because I think you lot are funnier than us. Yeah, we love your stories, by the way. There was one story about a woman who... who and you're going to talk about the shit again. Who and pooed I in a portal and it yeah. really tickled me. So if we, you have any funny story, Pete, carry on. Anything that just happens to you, what you're staying with at moments, just anything that you think might be interesting. Uh, we might do some themed ones, but for now, just talk to... This sounds really desperate. Yeah, tell us a story. Just talk to us. But also, I love, a, I love a story that's worded really well. She went, the moment the poo slipped out from my butt cheeks, I thought that is such a brilliantly worded story. Sam's still going on the shit story. Yeah, it really, really tickled me. So yeah, please do, because we're thinking about doing a bonus episode. But you can catch us and you uh, every single Monday wherever you get your podcast and you can watch us every single Friday on YouTube at Staying Relevant Podcast and you can check all our little bits and best bits every single day they're posted on Instagram and TikTok at Staying Relevant Podcast as well so you can email us with all of your best stories they don't even have to be Staying Relevant just best stories they could be relationship stories poo stories no I don't want stories. shit stories Pete hates the word poo email us on Staying Relevant at insanityhq.com and uh and we'll receive all of them. And I can't wait. It's going to be really, really fun. And you can vote oh, for us. Oh, fucking hell. Say goodbye. <laughs> and you can vote for us. And this means a lot because we are desperate on the listener's this choice. Is absolutely mental. The listener's a choice. People podcast are going to go, welcome to Staying Relevant. And then it's going to be 45 minutes of him saying goodbye. And you can vote for us on the podcast We've got no awards. time to do any content. Listener's awards. The link to vote for our listener's choice uh, podcast awards. I, I is, can't even listen don't, wait, wait, Let me get this. I'm We're done. We're done. The, the link for our podcast listeners choice award is in our bio on all on all our social media accounts please vote for us welcome to stay that was awful wasn't it for anyone that's just joined us uh sam's talking shit no No, yeah no yeah no yeah how old are you am i the oldest one in this room yeah no yeah